Hello students. In today's practical, we will perform homology modeling of a protein sequence using Zeno 3D server. By using Zeno 3D server, you can model 3D structure of a protein sequence whose structure is not known to us. For modeling of protein through Zeno 3D server, we first have to go to Zeno 3D homepage. This homology modeling, also known as comparative modeling of protein, refers to construct an atomic resolution model of the target protein from its amino acid sequence and an experimental 3D structure of a related homologous protein. The basic principle of comparative modeling is to use database of protein structure to make prediction about the structure of newly sequenced protein. Always remember this homology modeling of protein is extensively based on BLAST program. So when you open the Zeno 3D homepage, the page will appear like this. You have to paste your protein sequence in the box marked with red color. Then you have to submit your sequence. The aim of the Zeno 3D server is to make accessible to all biochemists and biologists an automated protein modeling web server to generate 3D model. When we will be submitting the sequence, that is a protein sequence, the server performs homology modeling in six successive steps. First, they will identify homologous protein with non 3D structure by using PSI BLAST. In the previous slides, I have already mentioned that homology modeling of protein through Zeno 3D or other software is totally based on BRAS program. Secondly, they provide the user all potential templates through a very convenient user interface for target selection. Like here you will be getting lots of targets from where you have to select some of the sequences as we have done in BLAST to tell which sequence is more similar. Thirdly, you have to perform the alignment of both query and subject sequence. Then we have to extract geometrical restraint for the corresponding atoms between the query and the template. In the fifth point, we have to perform the 3D construction of the protein by using a distance geometry approach. And finally, they will send you the result through your email. So you have to be ready with your email ID for getting the result in Zeno 3D uh, server. So after submitting your protein sequence in the Zeno 3D server, in the first step you will get this particular results where you can see lots of protein sequences having different different percentage of identity as you have got in case of last program where lots of protein sequence or nucleotide sequence you have seen and you have selected the most identical sequence the same thing you have to do here also you have to select at least three identical sequence to run this program after selecting the sequence you have to submit them and then you have to follow some more few steps to generate your protein models so after selecting the templates in the next step you have to provide your email id so in case of Zeno 3D server they will send the result in your email id so you have to put your email id in the appropriate place so next in the third step you have a option of choosing the number of model so maximum 10 model you can generate for this uh, Zeno 3D server so we have selected three models to generate 
then there are some expert option you don't have to change anything over here you directly go to the launch geno 3d option and click here then in the next step you will see your result in your email id after clicking in the launch geno 3d button you immediately get one email in your mail id stating that your geno 3d web server has started means the program has started and after some time you will get one more email that your geno 3d web server has ended means your results are ready now so on that particular mail in the bottom of that mail you will get one url where the results are available for 60 days you have to click on that url and you can see the results so in the next slide you will see the results so after clicking in the url that come in the email you will see your results which is marked in red color here so you can see three different types of model as you have selected number of models to generate into three you just click on every model that is marked as model 1.pdb model 2.pdb model 3.pdb you click on every model it will be downloaded automatically after downloading you can visualize them by using any visualization software like Resmol, etc after that there is an option of model analysis where you can see the information about the models out of them we have to first go for the energy of the models by using prosec analysis out of all these models we have to go with the minimum energy models so the model which is having minimum energy or less energy will be the stable one so in this practical the model 3 is having the lowest energy so we can conclude that model 3 is the most stable model for this particular uh, protein modeling if you want to know more about homology modeling and our protein through Zeno 3d you go through this link you will get all the information for modeling any protein practice it thank you